What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave and welcome back to another home theater tips. Now this is going to be on the Sony native 4K projector, the 295, but also it works on the 285 as well. And possibly the 385 and 395 if that's around. Alright, so there's a way to turn off the zone convergence correction software and i'm told that it actually improves detail and reduces image artifacting all right so the thing is now guys you have to go into the service menu now that's a tricky situation if you do anything else in the service menu you could damage your projector so this is at your own risk I'm not held responsible now I'm going to put on the side of the screen the instructions how to do this so you can follow it. And I'm going to do this for the first time myself on video. So you got your Sony remote, right? I'm going to put up the screen now. So the first thing you want to do is press enter, enter, left, enter. All right, so that says, do you want to enter service mode? And we'll say yes. Okay, so now that you're in the service menu, you want to press menu. So now we're in the menu, and there's a sub-menu called device. So we go down, 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 device. Okay. And then we press... Okay, so you press enter on device, then go down to display engine. Press enter, and then you want to go down on the remote until you see the 21 erg. All right, keep going down. Yeah, down, down, down. Get to 21. 21, right there. Then you press left, change it to zero. And when you put it to zero, you disable the zone convergence correction software. Then press enter on the remote. And then you go down to save to memory. Enter. Save to memory. Yes. Complete. Bottom right corner. All right. Now to get out of the, uh, the service menu, press en uh, menu to exit. And then you do the same thing we did before. Enter, enter, left, enter. Do you want to return to the user mode? Yes. All right. And that's it, guys. You're back to normal. Now, another thing I'd recommend is doing the uh, reality creation, turning it off. That way it's more pure as well. And that's it, guys. And as long as you do that, you're going to have less grain and less artifacting. And you might want to turn down the con or the sharpness a little bit too. Some are saying that 50 is way too high. Let me see what the shield menu looks like. That looks good to me. Looks good to me. Let me see if I can go back into the uh, so panel alignment. normal that looks fine all right that's it guys everything is clean and crisp nothing else I need to worry about all right guys that's it so if you want give it a try and if you want to put it back to where it was before you just go back to the 21 setting and put it back to one and enter and then close it out save it and you're good to go all right guys before I go I just gotta show you just a small sample of this amazing projector in action. This is Thor Ragnarok. Let's get it. Look at that picture. Watch out for his fingers. <laughs> 
gonna pause it there to try to avoid copyright. And play the door. So good, guys. I don't know if, I mean, if that manual, that 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 thing we just did, that panel uh, alignment correction turned off. I mean, for what I'm seeing right now, this picture is incredible. Let me turn off some of these lights in the background to get that pure picture. And I don't think this is HDR. Let me double check. Nope, definitely not HDR. All right, let's continue. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your incredible. Let's see it. There he is. There he is. Ah. <laughs> this is so funny. I have to get off this planet. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey, where are you going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking awesome. We know each other. Friend from work. <laughs> All right, guys, there's my tip for the 295 projector to reduce the artifacting on your image. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. Welcome to the Raft Cave Club. I'll see you guys next time. Home theater rules. Raph out. See ya.